Hey guys, I'm Erin with Erin Costa Photography here in Hampstead, North Carolina. We are so excited that you are considering us to photograph your family at Topsail Beach. Uh, we just wanted to share with you kind of a few recommendations, tips to consider when you are planning your session here at Topsail. So there are two parts to consider when scheduling your session at the beach. The first is we tend to schedule the sessions at the beginning of the week and there's a couple reasons for that. We know you want to be tan and glowing for your photos. However, we found that if you're anything like me, I tend to turn red or I get sunglasses tans kind of on my face and different things like that that are a little bit harder for us to remove later. So we do recommend scheduling at the beginning of the week to try to avoid some of that. Um, another thing is if there is inclement weather, we're able to kind of have a few extra days uh, built into the week to reschedule if we need to. So the second part to consider when scheduling your session is what time of day and we generally will only shoot about an hour before sunset and the reason for that is even sometimes an hour before sunset the light on the beach is so bright that you will be squinting, it's kind of difficult to get the beautiful skies behind you without them being super bright. So in order for us to provide you with the best photos and experience we do recommend scheduling an hour before sunset. or at sunrise, which we don't often have too many takers for, but that is also an option. We do realize that if your ch young children have bedtimes or different things like that, that it is a little bit difficult, but for that one day, we're definitely asking to try to maybe make their nap time a little bit later that day or see how things go. I know that's a little bit tough, but just plan to schedule it for that hour before sunset. So our next tip is, and this one's going to be a little bit tough for parents, uh, we're just going to let the kids be kids. I know when kids start acting crazy during a shoot or running around, our natural inclination would be to correct them, but we will definitely ask during the session that maybe you just kind of step back and let them kind of run around. Uh, we will intervene as much as possible. Uh, what we're going for is kind of like a carefree environment. We want to try to avoid tears at any cost, if at all possible. So just for that time, for that hour, just kind of let them run around. We'll play with them, we'll get them back in position as needed, but just kind of let them run around and just be kids for that hour. So a question that we get asked very often is what should I wear for my session? And I know that the go-to for most has been the all white khaki or all white and jean. Um, we try to ask to maybe avoid that if possible. I know with the larger group sometimes it's just easier to coordinate, but we've seen beautiful things done with like grays and yellows and jewel tones even. I've seen uh, like lavender on little girls with mix in with like some denim dresses, different colors like that. So what you want to do is pick coordinating colors, complementary colors, but not necessarily all matching. So our last tip would be come ready to have fun for your session. I know this is daunting and overwhelming when you're trying to corral 10, 15, 20 people for a session on the beach. But in order to kind of keep things in line, we do send a questionnaire out before your session. And we're gonna ask for those larger groupings or different pairings that you want before. So going into the session, we know what those are and we're able to work through those quickly. So then we can get you down into the smaller groups and that's when we have time for play and fun and having you guys interact as a family and even jumping in the water if you're up for it. So just kind of come with that open spirit, open mind, be ready to have fun.